We were out to find websites on the brink of technology failure and turn them into something awesome. Hello, this is David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft uh, and also HostDivi.com. Uh, today we're going to convert this custom WordPress theme over to the Divi theme. And I'm going to step you through that uh, one step at a time. So let's get started. Um, our strategy is to use the Divi Builder uh, so that we can design a page with the Divi Builder. And then we want to install the Divi theme and then switch the themes over. And then we can remove the Divi Builder. So we're doing this on a live site. It's only one page. So I really don't want to go through the whole process of uh, setting up a staging site and changing IP addresses and all that. So it's just a small site. So we've got our Divi Builder plugin installed, which would allow us to uh, build, use the Divi Builder on any pages that we want to use. So let's go ahead and start a new page. And for the design, we're pretty much going to mimic exactly what's already here uh, because this is what's already been approved by the customer. So we're going to just make this look just like um, the current one. Maybe make some small improvements. Uh, looks like everything is bold, uh, which it doesn't need to be. Um, so we can maybe a little less bold on the letters there uh, in some little small layout adjustments where things are, you know, not lined up or you know just don't quite look right this uh, gray against the side of the box and too much space up here and not enough space there and too much space here you know about this part so we're gonna go through and we're gonna make some minor design changes but the goal is just to rebuild this page uh, the way it looks so here's our new page and this is gonna be our new home page We're going to label that so we know which one it is, and we're going to launch our Divi Builder. When we're building a new website, uh, it's great to start with a, a pre-designed layout and add our content in it that way. But in this case, we are converting the current design over, and we want it to look as much like the original as possible. Uh, with with some improvements. So we're just going to jump into just clicking to Start Building. And then we're going to, when it gives us the choice, so when it gives us a choice to build from scratch or to use a pre-made layout, we're just going to choose start building from scratch. If you're having trouble using the Divi Builder plugin uh, with a particular theme, you can always use a, another WordPress install and design your page and export the layout and import it back into the uh, the site that you're trying to change. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and click on start building. And so now we're going to get started replicating the design.
using the inspector we can uh, right click open the inspector and we can find the font by filtering through we can find the font that was being used the Roboto medium
Now we've got our design layout uh, roughly completed. We're going to save it to our Divi library. Uh, we'll just call this uh, core home page. And we're going to save that in there. Now we can exit out of our visual builder. Then we'll go to our Divi library. And we're going to export the design layout that we just completed so we will check on that layout and then we'll click on import export and export that to our desktop Now that we have our DV layout completed and exported, we're going to go back into the website that we're working on. We're going to go to Divi and Divi Library. We're going to click on Import, and then we're going to import uh, the design that we just completed. And we're going to go over and make sure we've got our theme installed. Before we activate the theme, we're going to go over and we're going to take some screenshots of the website as it is now before we change it over. That way we can have a before and after and make sure that we didn't miss anything. So sometimes you can use a text editor like uh, Notepad or on the Mac you can use uh, text edit and I like to make it plain text so that it strips out all of the HTML and everything and then I can have the information that I want without it without the formatting. So I was missing this little bit of text at the top and a little bit of information in the footer but I've got that on the text pad so when we get the new theme uh, inst activated and the new layout added then we can come back and add this other content so we can do a live preview here after the installation There's not much to see because the uh, layout uh, has not been set to the home page yet. So we'll go ahead and activate and publish, and then we've got to step through doing the menus in the footer and the home page layout.
we're going to change the layout to a blank page and we can only do that from the editor uh, we're doing that because we don't need the logo or we've already the logo is already part of the design and there's no other pages it's just a one page so we can change it to a blank page and then add the layout that we've already created Sometimes if you're trying to select load from the library and you don't see your saved options, just click back and forth between the two different tabs and then, uh, and then it'll show up. Presto, there we go. We've got our new layout here. So now we're going to save this. I know we've got to come back and add a little bar and some footer things, but right now we're going to save this and we're going to go activate it and make this the new home page so that uh, we don't have a, a messed up page on the on this live site. So we're trying to do this with quickly within like five minutes. So we'll need to exit the Visual Builder and then go to our uh, WordPress reading settings and we can set the new home page as the home page of the website. Now I'm on the other tab. This was cached in from earlier. Um, so I didn't um, refresh this page yet so I'm gonna hit command R you can press control R or you can click the little circle on your browser window to refresh uh, the page and when this refreshes we should see the new design and we do it's fantastic so here it is what we have so far and we've got our screenshots we can go back and do any little touch-ups so I think the layout is already looking much better, cleaner, and tighter. Um, we need our footer information at the bottom. We probably want to add some red uh, headings, but we're going to do that with the custom Divi customizer uh, instead of customizing each individual heading on the on the page. So, so let's jump in and do that first. Let's go to our theme customizer. While that's loading up, we want to retrieve the right color red uh, that's in the logo. So I'm going to open up the logo in a graphics program. Um, I'm still using Fireworks, my favorite programs. Using the ink dropper, we can select the red color and then open that up and get the RGB color, BB2031. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. So now in the theme customizer, we're going to go to our settings and set the, um, the heading color to red. And also, I remember our font that we were using was the row. I think the Roboto. So unfortunately, we will have to scroll down and find that. So the cool thing here is if you 
do not use custom settings on your headings on the actual page then you can control all of them at the same time through the theme customizer so once we've got these set um, then we can go back and even on the page if we set it to the default font size color and everything then it'll be much easier to adjust everything you can see this already turned red these turned red for us uh, this was a graphic um, and these turn this turned red for us as well so we were able to control all of these and change all of these at one time by just using the theme settings since I've got the red RGB color or hexa color on my clipboard I'm gonna go down to my Divi theme options and make sure that that color is saved into my palette so that when I'm designing on the page I can choose that specific red pressing the inner key um, will show you the spinner which will save your save your settings so now when I enable our visual builder we should be able to have that red color available to us we're gonna add a little red bar at the top like there was before and copy and paste in our text Now we're going to work on our footer section. We want to get this looking like it did before with uh, the two logos at the bottom, but we're not going to include that little Facebook icon. We'll come back and add that to the to the top navigation or somewhere else that's or or wrap it into the footer so that it's cleaner.
instead of changing it's selecting all the text and changing it to white uh, there if you it's called text color so if you look up that uh, that feature or then you can just click the drop down and change it to light and it'll automatically make it uh, white so the dark color is any is the color that's assigned in the theme the theme options or the theme customizer and light is just always the reverse or the white version of that text so then you're not applying any styles local styles on this page to your to your text and you can always just come back and switch this back to dark and you're good to go This is not the ideal way to scale an image, <clears throat> but it's already been used on the page. Uh, so th the better option would be to resize, make a copy of that little logo and make it that size um, to match the other one. Okay, we've got everything in except for a little um, Facebook icon. We've completed the home page redesign and the launching of our converting of the theme over to Divi theme. So we're on the last part of it, but the home page is all done, but the sub pages are not completed. So if we click here to our donation page, which is using WooCommerce, we can see that our logo and all of our navigation is uh, messed up and our right sidebar is pretty much empty and our footer is is somewhat incomplete as long as along with the um, social icons at the bottom so this last part of the video we're going to clean up all of uh, kind of the furniture of the website um, all the the header and the footer and the sidebars so we're going to clean all these pieces up so that uh, the website is complete so we can start in with the uh, with the navigation uh, setting our logo and uh, maybe just having a home button there and a donate button uh, and then uh, work our way down.
So here when we right click and use our inspector, we can see the intrinsic is 225 by 251. I usually make the logos at least 100 pixels tall. Um, it, this one will scale a little bit, but uh, it needs to be a little bit bigger to be able to see it. So currently our footer is probably got three or four columns in it so we want to make it two columns so it matches the home page so we're going to go to the theme customizer and change the layout back to two
All right, now we've got our sub pages, sub pages looking good, and uh, I believe that completes our project. We've got a new home page and new sub pages set up, and everything's ready to go. I also would like to thank our sponsor, Pressable, uh, Shepherd's Loft Team, and Will at Events Replay for editing our video. See you in the next episode. Be sure to like, comment, and share.